100 years of the sinking of the ship and 15th anniversary of the Titanic. The timing of the re-release of the movie in 3D couldn't have been better. And joining us in this conversation is the producer of the film, Mr. John Langdon. Welcome on Zoom. Thank you very much for having me on Zoom. And welcome to India. Thank you for bringing Oscar to us. You're very welcome. Why, <laughs> why, why have art you don't share? Tell us what inspired you to convert Titanic into 3D. What inspired us to convert Titanic was that the technology became available to convert it at a quality level that was acceptable to Jim Cameron and myself. Cynics believe that this is just another money-making exercise. What do you have to say to that? I, I think that you know money is, is, is a part of it, but we're the ones taking the risk. You know, the studios have put up $18 million to convert the film. We've spent 60 weeks of our life to work on it. And if it goes out there and does some business at the box office, isn't that a good thing? The first idea to convert Titanic into 3D came in 2000. It came in about 2001 when we first started working in 3D. That was the first time where we had 3D cameras that were digital and starting to make some of the documentaries that Jim was a part of. And we said to ourselves, wouldn't it be great if Titanic was in 3D? The technology didn't exist to do it then. According to you, which was the hardest scene to transfer into 3D? The hardest scene to transfer into 3D is not one of the most obvious. I would say it's probably the dining room scene where they're having dinner because there's so many objects on the table and so much detail in the wardrobe and so much going on in the background. Every object, when you convert a shot, has to be placed in three-dimensional space. And that was quite time consuming. Tell us if you have to make Titanic in 2012, whom would you cast? I would go back in time and I would cast Kate and Leo again. <laughs> With the emotions and passion and action in Titanic, many people believe that it has got all the ingredients of making a classic Bollywood pot boiler. What do you have to say to that? I think it does. I mean, I think from what I know of, of Bollywood movies, that uh, the idea of the love story, the idea of combining it with the action, even throwing in a song, <laughs> <laughs> right? A very Bollywood thing to Where do. Where throw that song? <laughs> you know, no, but I'm saying the, the in my heart will go on, you know, with, with Celine, that, that song, you know, at the end, I, I think it, these are universal. They appeal not just to people in India, but, but around the world. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking. Thank you very much. That was John Lando with Katie Tarang and cameraman Anil, Zoom Mumbai.